This lesson will introduce you to a new use of the dative, the dative of certain adjectives. We've already covered things like the dative with certain verbs, certain intransitive verbs, verbs like impero or credo, to obey, to trust. Uh, the indirect object, I gave that gift to the woman. Uh, the date of interest, this isn't good for me. And now we have, we'll, we'll find that there are certain adjectives which, in order to complete the idea of the adjective, in order to, for that adjective to have a, a sort of complete thought, uh, the dative will complete that thought. So what type of adjectives are these? In general, they're adjectives that express fitness, similarity, inclination, utility, and their opposites. So in Latin, we're going to get certain adjectives like optus or idoneus, uh, and, and these will also be adverbs. Certain adverbs will also uh, follow the same idea. Optus idoneus, uh, fit for. Amicus, friendly or inimicus, unfriendly. Molestus, bothersome. Utilis or inutilis, useful or unuseful. Par, dispar, equal or unequal. Similis, dissimilis, similar or dissimilar. Um, and you'll notice in English, if we have, uh, in, in English, we also sort of finish these with, uh, in many cases, with a date of idea. That is, remember, the date of can sort of be translated with two or four, so you can be fit for, friendly to, bothersome to, useful for, equal to, or similar to, or dissimilar to. Uh, so let's take a look at a few adjectives, uh, a few sentences that use these. We have a sentence, haec est cana regi opta. This hike, est cana, this is a dinner. Regi, here's our dative. Opta, and there's our verb, uh, our adjective of, of utility, of, of fitness. This is a dinner fit for a king. So here's our adjective. It takes the dative to finish the idea. Illa famina nobis est amica. That woman, nobis, here's our dative. That woman is friendly to us. So, again, we have that idea of two or four. So this is a fit for a king, friendly to us. Sapiens convenienter naturae wiwit. Uh, here's our dative. And although this wasn't in uh, the list, here's the, in here it happens to be an adverb, which takes a, uh, a dative. So the wise man lives according to, uh, literally, uh, or we might the uh, derivative would be conveniently, but according to nature. And again, that to nature has that date of two or four idea to it. So these certain adjectives, uh, when you translate them, you'll realize, oh, I really do need a two or four. Uh, I'm going to use the dative for it. Um, and you'll run into a dative that has no other possible use, so it must be the dative with that adjective.